going on guys, it's Gary and today guys a new video on the top 5 best screen recording and PC kind of recording gaming mm -hmm. softwares all together. It's basically what I use to record my games when I use, use to record my uh, speed art tutorials and stuff like that and PC stuff. So uh, all these softwares basically record your desktop specifically. You guys can also stream with a couple of them and I'll totally tell you guys the pros and cons of everything. And I broke it down into five separate softwares with a little bit of pros and cons. I'm not going to run the video on too long. And then also how much they cost, etc. But um, with not wasting any more time, let's get right into it. For the fifth spot, I have Fraps. And if you guys are getting into PC recording and PC gaming and stuff like that, a lot of people are going to use Fraps for the first time. And pretty much the only pros about it, it's basic and it's totally easy to use. It's not really that hard to kind of put together. It's a few kind of windows and that's basically it. Everything else is just kind of one compact thing. And it's not really that attractive, honestly. It's kind of like an old, looks like an old like 90s kind of put together software. And uh, for a con about this is it's really laggy sometimes I've heard and it crashes a ton when you're doing like looping stuff or doing like certain things. But uh, other than that, it's free. It is free, but uh, you do have a version that you can pay for. Something that you can get, like, I think stream delays get canceled or something stupid like that. It doesn't really matter to pay for, but it has it. So, Fraps definitely the fifth spot. For the fourth spot, we have XSplit. And if people are getting into streaming, you guys will know about XSplit and OBS. OBS is later on in this video. Both are really good streaming um, kind of softwares. But the pretty much the only pros about XSplit that I found was kind of the appearance and it's all put together kind of software. It's a really good appearance and it does a lot of good work. And it's very customizable. If you guys can put like your overlays, webcams, you can put a lot of stuff into that together. And it also, you guys can stream with it, record your screen. You guys can do a lot of separate things, your mic, etc. So that's pretty much a good kind of con or a good kind of pro stuff together. So for the cons, the only issue really, actually there's a couple, but the really main issue is Windows only. I know a lot of Mac or Linux users are going to be a little pissed off about that. You can only use Windows with XSplit. And also, instead of it recording audio files as uh, MP3s, it's called Speaks and it's an AAC file, which is just really weird. I never really see stuff that happens like that, but uh, I think you guys can change that in the settings or something. But uh, it does have a lot of ton, like a ton of plugins to add stuff. I mean, Twitch alerts, you have to add that, you have to add your webcam. It's a lot of plugins and it's also free, but you guys can get a free, uh, can get a, a paid version to get rid of advertisements, get rid of stream delay, and add like other plugins or something stupid like that. Um, definitely just stay with the free version if you're going to go with that. So uh, that's fourth spot's XSplit. And for the third spot, you have Shadow Play. And if you guys don't know what this is, um, it's pretty much kind of a thing that comes with your uh, NVIDIA GeForce um, graphics cards. And I think, you, I could be wrong, but I'm 100%, maybe 95% sure that it only runs on NVIDIA graphics cards. I could be wrong, I'm. that's what I've been told. And you guys can get it on the NVIDIA website. It's a kind of it's called NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and you guys can like check your drivers, your rig, your shield, your games, everything like that. And then all over the top right hand corner, there's this thing called Shadow Play, and it's basically a screen recording software. And I I love this. It is third spot, but I do love it a lot. It's really easy to use. It's very fast and responsive actually. Like it it take a little bit to kind of like figure out what's good, but uh, it is very fast and responsive, and it's really awesome. It's pretty customizable with setting wise, you can't really add stuff like overlays, but you can like change it. You guys can go all the way up to 4K um, resolution, 60 frames per second, everything like that. And it definitely runs very smooth with HD if your computer can process it. It is very, very smooth. So that's pretty much the pros about that. For cons, is the GeForce graphics cards only. That's kind of like a weird thing. And also you can use a lot of keyboard commands to kind of start it. It's like F, uh, no, it's called all F9 to kind of get it going and stuff like that and it also leaves like a little green dot in the bottom right hand corner which doesn't really bother me that much but if you guys are going to be using a lot of uh, CSGO gaming or a lot of computer games that might get to you a little bit so well uh, it's the only little issues I found with Shadow Play but it's definitely a really good software to use and if you guys can get it definitely something I'd get into so for sp a second spot we have OBS and OBS is basically an open broadcast server or software one of those and uh, it records your screen, it's a streaming software, it's recording software, and uh, for some pros about it, it's very fast supporting, and you guys can do a lot of things with that, it's very like, responsive, you guys can stream with it, it's also very customizable, you guys can do the same thing with XSplit, except it's a little easier to do and you won't need as many plugins, and the best part about this is you can save it to a direct file, but as multiple formats, so you can put together a bunch of things, 
and uh, it's really cool. You guys can put like MP4 files, um, WMV files, uh, anything you guys want. You guys can put it together. So uh, definitely a really good pros about that. It's very easy to use and uh, it is really customizable. You guys can do like anything you want. You can change your codec, you can change all the settings. I think the only issue is when you save it, it's kind of like a 1080p only thing. But uh, for cons about this, um, OBS really, it's really a high CPU usage kind of software. And a lot of people with kind of low-end computers will understand this. If you guys want to stream with it, the CPU, you just get a little red screen in the bottom of the software. It like kind of processes your, your CPU too much, and it like rams your whole computer, and you can burn out your computer by that. And uh, another one is confusing at first with your settings. It's just kind of like an odd thing to do. I watched a, I watched a lot of uh, videos, like Drifter videos, on how to put together, and also I uploaded my own. So uh, it's really easy to do once you like you figure it out the first time. So that's another con. And then lastly, the video sometimes doesn't don't really appear as HD as set. So sometimes I'll record something like 1080p, 60 frames per second, and then I'll go to view it after that and it'll look like it's like a 140p video or something. I just have to like redo it. And it's just really weird sometimes on how I get saved. But uh, it is free, so that's another pro. Um, no free of charge, there's no pay like, payment versions. You guys can get like a specific OBS software, but that's paid and it's not really the same. OBS just by itself is definitely the uh, best one for free. So for the first spot we have Camtasia and this is basically what I use for all my videos I record with my screen except for this one. I'm using uh, Shadowplay and using uh, Audacity to record my voice. Basically Camtasia can record literally anything. You guys can set little screens, you guys can do this, it's very customizable. And uh, the best part about it, honestly, it has its own little editing addition to the software. You guys don't need to download After Effects, Premiere, Sony Vegas, nothing. It comes with its own little editing edition. That's what I edit all my videos in, basically. Really easy to use. And uh, you guys can save in tons of formats. I mean, anything. And uh, you guys, when you guys are done like editing the video, you guys want to put it all together, you guys can hit Render. And you guys can publish it straight to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, your email. There's like a ton of different kind of situations you guys can put it to. Also, there is cons about this. It does not support MP4 files, which is really weird. I thought, I, I don't know, it just got to me. I thought it was really, like a really odd situation. If you guys have an MP4 file, it says it doesn't support the codec. I'm pretty sure there's a way to get past that, but uh, other than that, I don't really know. The takes forever to render. I have, my computer is like, I don't want to be cocky or anything, but my computer is very good. It's like a beast inside a little cage. And uh, it's my computer, a 20 minute video sometimes takes a little extra to render, and I have no idea why. I can upload this into After Effects or Premiere and edit it myself and it'll take a minute to render. This will take like 20 minutes to render or something sometimes. So that might just be the software, but uh, it's definitely a con I thought. It just took forever to render. It did it on my laptop also, my other desktop. And uh, another con is it usually, for some reason, whenever you render, it like uses your internet or something. It's just really odd. I don't upload straight to YouTube from it. I upload just to my drives or, and uh, it's just really awkward on how it sometimes uses my internet and it's just really like slow paced computer just like drains it out but uh that's a con but if you're rendering something you usually don't kind of touch your computer you kind of just leave it the same so uh, that's that for the payment thing there is a free 30 day trial with the software but uh if you guys want to try it out for 30 days it's definitely the way to go there is however after that you have to pay for it i'm not too sure on how much it costs i paid for it before i paid for it all in one it was around like 200 and something dollars or something definitely worth just paying it straight and full and uh it, it is a big kind of like debt inside of you but once you guys get kind of like using the software you guys kind of start uploading youtube videos you guys will realize that it was definitely worth the money and paying for it and it's definitely the way to go so that's basically on how all these softwares are put together there is a lot of d different ones out there um bandy cams one of them windows 10 has its own built in there's, there's just tons of things out there, but uh, this is definitely my top five list. A lot of people wanted me to make this video for some reason asking what I use. I personally use Camtasia, and that's obviously the first one for me. I do have to pay for it, but uh, it was totally worth the money once I ended up paying for it. OBS definitely second. I'll have Shadowplay at third, XSplit at fourth, and Fraps at fifth. Definitely one of the best kind of top five lists I could probably watch on YouTube, honestly, right now. Not to be kind of like that kid. I watched a lot of them lately, and they're, they're just a little like weird. It's kind of like a one-sided situation, but I kind of try to put everything together. So uh, if you guys are pretty much watching this video and you guys are wondering what kind of software you should get, what kind of computer do you have, if you guys are having a low-end computer and you guys don't want to kind of kill it with uh, 
kind of kill it with your CPU usage. Do not go for OBS or Camtasia. Kind of stay with like Fraps or XSplit or something. Something really low and won't kill your uh, your CPU. You can use Shadowplay if you have a G4, so it's like a 750 Ti. It's probably like one of the lowest ones you could probably run or something. And uh, I would definitely use Shadowplay if you could. Then obviously if you have kind of a more better computer, a little bit more of RAM, a little bit better of a processor, etc. I definitely just go straight to Camtasia. Try the 30 day trial. If you guys like it, pay for it. Ask for a Christmas present, birthday present or something. It is kind of a weird thing to ask for, but it's definitely worth it when you guys get it. And you guys are like, damn, this is actually worth it. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a really nice day. I hope you guys that wanted this video are really pleased on this. I took my time to kind of put a full list together. So in the description below, you guys will see the... Uh, the names in consecutive order i'll have the links to each one after that and that's pretty much all i have for you guys today the gaming in the background is me whoever who knows what it is honestly i i just went on something i'm doing this after just went on something and played but uh other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for 6700 subscribers and i hope to see you guys later on peace out